You see it right now? It's straight up and down. Yep. You want this chain to be in the center of the cockpit. And you can adjust the chain by loosening a knot and tightening the opposite side. Okay. And this little blue tape mark marks the center position of the chain. So if that rudder is straight up and down, this center of the chain mark should be in the center of the cockpit or in line with the tiller when the tiller is straight. And then you can set this in and pin it because it doesn't like to stay in by itself. Got to get the blue tape on the other side, apparently. There. Now, if this is too loose, you just tighten one or the other of these knots to take some of the slack out. You don't want it really tight, but you don't want it loose. So this is about good, just like that. Now you see that the wind blade is now pointed approximately into the wind. The lead counterweight goes to the windward side like it is. This is the course control. If it wasn't pointing into the wind or you wanted to change course, you would hold both of tension on both of these and pull one harder than the other. You see there, it's getting some wind straight ahead so it caused the blade to go straight up. Now let's say we had this thing misaligned or there was a wind shift, then the wind would be on the side. You see that? Right. Now it's knocking the blade down. And when the blade's knocked down, it turns the rudder. And if the boat's moving through the water, the force of the water on the rudder will cause the rudder to swivel up one side or the other and pull on one of these ropes or the other and turn the tiller. When the boat comes back on course then, the wind blade will be at a different angle to the wind and it'll pop up when it gets centered on the wind. Another detail here is the amount of weather helm. So the way you operate this is you're normally starting to sail by steering by hand or tiller pilot, not with the wind vane yet. So you get your boat on the course you want to sail and you're, you've got your sails adjusted, you've checked your compass and GPS, you're going the way you want to go. Now you want to put the wind vane on. So the first thing you do is turn the wind blade into the wind so it feathers and stands straight up. As soon as it does that, you come back and you check your course again, make sure you haven't drifted off course while you were looking there. Get it back on course. Then you note, oh, I have to hold the tiller here to stay on course. I have this amount of weather helm on this angle, if you happen to have. And then you will say, okay, I need not to put the chain in the center. I need to put it over here where the tiller is. And if you don't have weather helm, you can put it somewhere near the center, probably. And you just adjust one link at a time if you need to tweak the course. Because as the wind shifts and you get stronger gusts, you may get a little more weather helm. The boat may tend to go off course more. And then you'll notice, oh, I need a little more adjustment on my tiller. So, so this is fine course adjustment here. Okay. And this is the other course adjustment here. So they, they to, are complement. Uh, can you see this? Yeah, in certain situations, this will will make your correction, or this will make your correction. You okay. know, if you if you have a change in weather helm, this is what you need to correct. If you have a change in wind angle, or you just say, oh, I've, I've met my waypoint, now I'm turning 30 degrees, you don't mess with that necessarily. You immediately will change this 30 degrees, the wind angle, then you will <coughs> fine tune it with this. Okay. All right. to tack this thing with the wind vane single-handed, I first pull the wind blade through the eye of the wind. Just 
get it angled on the other side. And if there's enough wind, it will tack itself. But we might need to help it by adjusting the tiller a few links to leeward to help the tack. Then after the bow comes through the eye of the wind, we're going to leave the sheet tight for a moment to help pull the bow through the wind. It's starting to luff now. Okay, now the sail is aback, but I'm going to let it stay aback for a few seconds more, and then I'm going to release it. And the other sheet. is going to hold us on the new course. Once I get this sheet in, I can now fine tune the wind vane to make sure we're as close as we can get. So I will bring us a little bit closer to the wind on the wind blade and see if we can hold that course without luffing. And if we do luff, I will move the tiller one or two links to windward to compensate for the natural weather helm. But if you look at the sails now, we're doing well on the other tack. So you can do that single-handed with the wind vane without any trouble so you won't have to wake up your off-watch crew for something as simple as a tack. Now it's your turn. Awesome. <laughs>